Now, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a Honda jacket and I'm standing next to a vehicle that has got decals. Well, it's quite simple. This, as you can see, is the all-new Civic Type R. And the reason why this car looks like this is because we are in Simola and this is one of the vehicles that will be competing at this year's Simola Hill Climb, driven by Dion Jobert. So we've been invited by Honda South Africa to experience what it's like to be at the Simola Hill Climb. But I just figured, whilst I'm here, let me give you an in-depth review of how this new Civic Type R does as a normal road car. The standard Civic is already a pretty car, but what this Type R does, it takes those elements and it turns it up a few notches. As you can see, the front end of the vehicle is extremely aggressive. We've got these flared wheel arches, we've got these large wheels, and we've even got an air intake here by the bonnet. And looking at the overall profile of the car, it looks wider, it looks angrier, it screams at you that this is a Civic Type R, but in a very understated way compared to previous iterations of this car. To me, this is one of the prettiest Civic Type Rs that we've seen, but one thing remains, and that is this large wing. I'm so glad that they've kept this because this tells everybody that this is a no-nonsense car. With an illustrious 30-year heritage, the latest Civic Type R has some enviable shoes to fill. And to ensure that the new car continues the legacy, its development team was given a simple yet exacting brief. Deliver a thrilling, addictive driving experience, both on the road and the racetrack. So as much as the Civic Type R is a very performance-orientated vehicle, it needs to do a good job at being a day-to-day -day daily, so to speak. And I can tell you that from a day-to-day -day driving experience, this is quite good. And these chunky seats, which may seem a little bit too red to some people, are quite comfortable also for just day-to-day -day driving like this. But at the same time, at the racetrack, we know that they're going to hug you. And then, if I simply switch the car into sport, all of a sudden, when I do this... <laughs> you could very easily break the law. I've got 235 kilowatts and 420 newton meters going to the front wheels. And it's quite interesting because there's an age-old saying which says, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that's the sense I get from this vehicle, that Honda knows that this recipe works. Because at the end of the day, there's only so much power you can run to the front wheels of the car. So you'll see that the power change is quite incremental, but it makes a huge difference. It's got a lighter flywheel, and as a result, the car is quite easy to engage gear after gear. You've also got this wonderful rev matching, so that when you're downshifting, the revs are there, and you can simply get going like this. <laughs> I think you've got quite a unique proposition. 979,000 Rand is a lot of money, but you get a driving experience that you're not going to get in many other performance hatches out there because there are no longer any other manuals that you can get. Honda is only bringing in 60 of these vehicles and already half of them have been sold. If you do buy this car, you do have the bragging rights to say that you have got the fastest front wheel drive car around the Nürburgring. And in the petrol head world, that means a lot. Once again, the bar was set high for the new Type R, because not only had its FK8 predecessor achieved a lap record six years prior, but the existing fastest lap was set by a Renault Megane RS Trophy R in 2019. Reclaiming the record was non-negotiable. I think this Type R has got a much more livable personality than the vehicle that it replaces without losing that excitement. And that's why it works for a setting like this. Currently sitting here in Neisner, we've got beautiful roads. And of course, Dion Jobert is going to really extract the most amount of performance that you can get out of this car as he does the hill climb. Dion, you have been driving the Honda Civic Type R and it's an incredible vehicle, but we hear from you because you're the professional. How's it been for you so far? It's been amazing. We've been involved with the launch of the car 
And right away when we got the car, we were like, wow, this is special. Eh? Good build quality and, a, and an amazing car. Um, quite a few conversations with the owners club about the previous generations and where they're offering, but I think this is the best one so far. It is manual, so that means there's a certain involvement picking the right gear for each corner and then where the DSG boxes will allow you just to shift in the middle of the gearbox. And it's got this massive uh, turbo uh, that comes in uh, and, and so it's been a little bit difficult to start, a little bit challenging. I've got to get it completely yeah, yeah, right yeah, every yeah. time, you know? One of the things that a lot of people have been commenting on is the fact that you've been able to extract so much performance from, like you said, front wheel drive car, manual transmission, and you've been able to get times that are well, Incredible. thank you, that's, that's very flattering, but, uh, but uh, it's been fun to drive and, and, uh, and fairly, uh, let's not say easy, but it's a, it's a car that accommodates, it's got tremendous front, front end grip. Where the previous cars, as they boosted uh, in the middle of the corner towards the apex, they started sort of understeering this car doesn't do that at all. Oh, wow. So um, it's got a tremendous front end. I don't know how they did that, it's, it's a fantastic car, I really enjoyed it. John, thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. We wish you yeah. all the best, I'm sure you're going to even do it. Better than what we even anticipated ah. because you are the one at the end of the day. Uh. Extremely humble man. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Just as it did at the Nürburgring, the Type R achieved what it set out to do at the Samola Hill Climb, comfortably eclipsing its competitors in the front-wheel drive class and securing the top spot on the podium for Dion and the Honda team.